Hey everyone, it's Pastor Phil Janish, and welcome to our Sunday preparation meditation for this week. So again, it is the season of Advent. If you remember from last week's Sunday preparation meditation, you may remember we mentioned that the word Advent simply means coming. So during Advent, we are waiting for Christ to come. What the Old Testament believers were kind of remembering that they waited. They were waiting for the Messiah to come. We too, in the New Testament era, are waiting for Messiah to come. We're waiting for him to come a second time. So we're both uh, remembering and waiting during this season of Advent. You may remember I mentioned uh, last week, we just got to kind of hurry up and wait. So what should we do while we're waiting? I mean, should we just sit here and twiddle our thumbs and wait for Christ to come? Well, no. Uh, Jesus tells us some very specific things that we're supposed to do when we wait. And this Sunday, one of the things we're going to learn is that we want to repent. Now is the time to repent. Jesus finished his work of salvation, and now we're waiting for him to come again. So in the meantime, it is time to repent. This Sunday, our gospel lesson comes from Matthew, and it talks about the ministry of John the Baptist. God sent John the Baptist to prepare the people's hearts for Jesus' ministry. And so John was a big preacher of repentance. He told the people to repent of their sins. So what does it mean to repent? What exactly are we supposed to do while we're waiting for Jesus to come? We're supposed to repent, but what does that mean? Well, usually we talk about the four C's of repentance. The four C's are contrition, confession, confidence, and correction. So we repent of sins. So first, what we do is we feel contrition. When we look at God's law and how it tells us that we've sinned against God, that makes us contrite. It makes us sorrowful. So that is the first thing we are to do is to look at our sins and see that we've sinned against God and feel sorrow over those sins. And then that attitude leads to an action. It leads to a confession. We simply be honest with God and say, God, I have sinned against you. I'm a sinner. That's confession. But then we have confidence. We have confidence that our Savior Jesus came to forgive us of our sins. So we take joy and hold on to that gift of forgiveness and, and with confidence go forward in life knowing that we are forgiven. And then finally, we have correction. We don't want to take forgiveness as a license to sin. No, rather forgiveness is freedom to amend our lives. So we look at our lives and we say, okay, what area in my life um, am I sinning in? Am I falling short? Okay, I've been forgiven of that. Now with God's help, I want to seek to correct that, to try and live according to his will instead of in my sinful life. And this uh, repentance is a lifelong process. We are constantly recognizing our sin, confessing them, going to Jesus for forgiveness, and then with joy and confidence in the forgiveness he's given, uh, renewing our fight against our sinful lifestyle. So that's one of the things we're going to uh, talk about today, or this Sunday, and that's one of the things we want to do as we wait for Jesus to come. We want to repent. We want to feel contrition. We want to confess our sins, have confidence in the forgiveness Jesus won for us, and then seek to correct our sinful lifestyle. So I pray that God gives you strength as you engage in repentance as we wait for Christ to come. We'll talk more about that on Sunday. We'll see you then.